leaders, there's the all clear. They sent on their way in South Africa's premier long distance horse racing event. Along the inside, Vino Veritas is right there, solid speed with a good position. Jay's outsider with the blue cap overcoming the draw. Ash Cloud is back there with Kingston Mines. Savage Wind is on the outside and Wild Wine a perfect position near the rail. Wild Ash is racing about five lengths off the leader at this stage. Cold Train and Gone Baby Gone. They give them about eight or nine lengths start as they go on to the poly. And they'll link up once again with the turf now as they head towards the 2,400 meter marker. Further back in the running is Cole Kaiser and then comes Gold Onyx. That's racing about nine or ten lengths off the leader at this stage. Hard Tekken and Disco L. Balance Sheet is one of the trailers as they swing on to that back stretch. And Storm Warning is the trailer. On settling down to race now and Kingston Mines and Savage Wind. These two doing the bidding. Back in third place is Jay's outsider. That's the blue cap near the rail. Ash Clouds in the blue on the outside, followed by Solid Speed. That's got about six lengths to make up. Wild One perfectly placed with Vino Veritas. And then Wild Ash on the outside of runners. Then Coltrane, gone baby, gone. Further back in the field is Cole Cutter. Balance Sheet, Hot Ticket's got about 15 or 16 lengths to make up. Then Gold Onyx and Disco L. And at the back of the field is Storm Warning. Savage Wind continues to lead now, goes on a length and a half in front of Kingston Mines who races back in second position. Then in third place there we find Ash Cloud in the blue. They are followed further back by Jay's outsider who is near the rail back forth. Wild One is perfectly placed, solid speed, then gone baby gone. Wild Ash balance sheet and further back Kolkata with the red cap. Then we drop back to Wild Ash. Further back in the running at this stage is Gold Onyx. That's got about 16 lengths to make up with Cold Train Hot Ticket. Storm Warning. As they move towards the 1100 meter mark in the Eland Property Group Gold Cup. And the leader is Savage Wind. Kingston Mine with the cheek pieces is second. Jay's outside and near the rail. Ash Clouds in the blue, Vino Veritas. Wild One has traveled smoothly throughout near the rail. Solid speed, Colt has pulled off the rail with the red cap trying to make progress. Then Gone Baby Gone, Colt Train. They are followed by Gold Onyx Balance Sheet. Hot tickets on the move, then Disco L and Storm Warning. About to turn into the home stretch. Elan Property Group Gold Cup is homeward bound. Kingston Mine, Savage Wind, Vino Veritas, Ash Cloud. Colt Train, Colt Cutter. Wild One still waits at the rail, Jay's outside. As they're coming to the home stretch, 400 to go. Savage win the leader. Vino Veritas on the outside. Wild One starts a run on the inside. Wild One's coming home. Cold train. Vino Veritas. Jay's outsider. Gold Onyx looking for running room. Wild One and Balance Sheet comes from nowhere. Balance Sheet running on powerfully at Wild One. Wild One, Balance Sheet, Cold Train. Wild One's finding more though. Wild One won it. Second place, maybe Balance Sheet. Third to Savage Wind, and we'll wait for that photo for fourth, but Wild One has pulled it off. Travelled sweetly throughout was Wild One, and Wild One ends up winning at the Son of Magog for Anthony Del Pesh and Mike Tukok. Right, let's look at the slow-mo replay. Elan Property Group Gold Cup, Grade 1, 3,200 metres. Nothing travelled better than Wild One throughout. Had a peach of a run along the inside running rail. Came to the front, just starts to shift around a little bit, but wins it well for Mike Tukak, Sean Phillips. And this one for the Scott Brothers, the son of McGock. Balance sheet set. Third will go to Savage Wind. Fourth, number 11. Storm Warning came from one of the trailers. Wild Ash is further back. Coltrane, Disco L. Kolkata made an early move, nothing extra. Gone Baby Gone. Vino Veritas. Then Gold Onyx, followed by Jay's Outsider. Solid Speed was further back in the running. And then came Hot Tickets. And further back is Kingston Mines. 
That's the running of the Elan Property Group Gold Cup Grade 1. Terrific race. Wild one, two off the left-hand side. Still under the hands. Tackle Savage Wind. Balance Sheet becomes a big runner. Vino Veritas. Gold Onyx is looking for running room between Gone Baby Gone and Wild Ash. Cold Train on the right and Cold Cutter. There, Wild One just shifts. The stick goes in the left hand, but he straightens up and goes on to score about that length and a quarter. So, Wild One, there's the salute. The son of McCog, Mike DeCog, Sean Phillips. And bred by the Scott Brothers. Number seven is Victoria's in the running of the Elan Property Group Gold Cup. Grade one over 3,200 metres. Let's look at it again. Wild one stick in the left hand. And he continues to fight halfway up the straight. He was still travelling extremely well. Wins a length and a quarter. What a run from balance sheet back in that second position. And certainly not disgraced was the third place or savage wind who made most of the running. That's the Elan Property Group Gold Cup, 3,200, Grade 1. It goes to Wild 1. South Africa's premier stayers race, the Elan Property Group Gold Cup, for a stake of 1.2 million rand. We've just witnessed a fantastic performance from the Mike de Kock runner, number 7, Wild 1, the son of McGock. Well done to owner Sean Phillips, who is on course. And of course, uh, Scott Brothers, who bred this individual, and uh, jockey Anthony Delpes doing duty. We are going to have the interviews, then we'll break, and we'll come back for the winning presentation. First up, give it up for the winning jockey, Anthony Delpes. <laughs> Anthony, firstly, uh, let's touch on your performances over the years in this race, uh, a race that's eluded you and uh, you finally put it uh, to bed today with a fantastic win from your horse. Yeah, I was always, I've, I've had six seconds in it and, it and it's fantastic. It's like, I've won the July four times, but this was like winning the July for me today. It was really, really special win. You need a special horse to get the job done over 3,200 meters and Mike prepped this horse beautifully. This horse was spot on, Dees. We, he had such a superb preparation coming into this race. You know, he, he's, he's a horse in the morning. He doesn't show you too, too much on the track, but himself, he shows you that he's, very, he's feeling very good. And we had him spot on. All I was worried today is have a smooth race. And I knew if I had a smooth race, I had the best horse in the race. Talking about a smooth race over 3,200 meters, tactics, luck in running. You were perfectly positioned. And at the top of the straight, you made your move. Yeah, today he was beautiful on the fence and he was he was switched off uh, the year before when I rode him and he ran second. He travelled very keenly, but today he was switched off and I was so happy. Going through the 1200, he, he grabbed the bit, he says, I'm here, so be patient. And I was patient on him and uh, yeah, he's, he's a good stayer, he's the best stayer around. Well, it's a great ride, a great achievement from your horse. Well played here, and uh, now you can add that uh, to the many, many features that you won, that you've won the Gold Cup, sponsored by Elan Property Group. Well played here, Bonji. Uh, thank you. Thanks very much to Mike and the whole team. You know, he's a, he's a genius, and uh, you know, on, on Tuesday he said to me, come, we've got to get up and go galloping. We had the Wild Coast, and we got up and we went to do the work, and he wants to be there to see what's happening, and he, you know what? I've never won the Gold Cup, but I won for the genius here. Yeah. Well played. Thank you. Talking about the genius. Give it up for winning trainer, Mike DeCock. Mike, you know, Anthony touched on commitment. Uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to also be at the Wild Coast that weekend. And you guys drove up early, 5 o'clock that morning, to come and watch this horse gallop. And uh, you knew that you had a serious horse in this race. Oh, geez, he's, uh, he's had a hell of a prep. You know, it's, it's very seldom a trainer goes into a big race where just absolutely nothing goes wrong. The only hiccup has been that the, the race was delayed a week. Otherwise, everything was absolutely spot on with his horse. I mean, if he, if he ran badly today, I'd have left just scratching my head, thinking that I've gone backwards as a trainer, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, it just, it's, it's very seldom that it happens that it works out that way for a trainer. You've had a lot of success in this race. You know what type of horse it takes to win. I can remember a few months back that Sean actually had this horse in the horses in training sale. Yeah, you know, he, uh, he actually injured himself and it looked like it was career ending. And um, I'm glad that, that Sean had the heart and the patience to keep the source and to, and to uh, um, you know, give us uh, a chance to bring him back to, to soundness. But I mean, you know, a year ago, we didn't think he was ever going to get back here. By the high standards that you set, you know, it's been uh, fairly quiet uh, during champion season, but uh, never put a good man down. And you've put the number in the frame in this grade one, Mike. Yeah, it's been quite a I mean, we've, uh, we've run a lot of places in group ones. 
Um, you know, this is only the second group one winner, but, you know, we take it with both hands. It happens that way. You know, sometimes you have the horses, other times you don't. Um, but anyway, this is a, a great way to finish the season off for us. And uh, as I say, I'm really, I'm really happy for the, the team. You know, everyone around us, me, uh, puts in a, a hell of an effort. And it's, it's fantastic that we win one of the, the, the really big ones. And as I said, I'm also really particularly uh, pleased for Sean um, in that he's given us, uh, you know, it's, 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 why you, it's why you're in this game. It's why people own horses to stand here today. Well done, Mike, to yourself and your team. Hearty congratulations. Thank you very much, Lise. Winning trainer, Mike de Kock. Then the winning owner. Give it up for winning owner, Sean Phillips. Sean, it's tremendous what you went through with this horse because at one stage, you know, he had his problems and he was on a sale, but you brought him back. Yeah, these I've, I've always believed in him. You know that, uh, look, there was a time last year I got a bit uh, disappointed with the game and I wanted to get out. And uh, this specific horse, I, I rated him. And uh, in fact, I, I put all my horses up for, for dispersal. And uh, uh, Graham was starting the auction. He said 500, 400, 300, 200. I bought him back for 200, anticipating someone will come. No one came. So I kept him and uh, I went, he went back to Mark. And, and I tell you now that, uh, look, the source had problems last year, but I told everyone, he's gone past his problems. Um, uh, obviously, with good care for John, uh, Nathan, Mark, uh, uh, I, think he's, I think he's coming to himself and he's got still a lot more. He's, he's not over raced. You know, a lot of these horses that have raced today have raced a few times. He's raced sparingly. Mark is a genius in terms of setting his, uh, the, the plan for him. Uh, we, we could have raced him on July day, but we decided, no, let's give it a miss. This was our plan. You know, that uh, in fact, the last day of supplementaries, uh, I got given a call by the stable to say, do you want to supplement him in the July? I said, no, no, let's, let, our plan is the Gold Cup, let's go. And you know, if you think about it, that when he ran second to Punta Arenas and Punta Arenas came second in July, it's a great run. You know, so uh, look, he, I think he's a top horse. Uh, 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 he's, he's, he's my wild one. Well, it's just a beautiful story for racing, your belief in the racehorse, and he's delivered for you, Sean. Is this your first Group 1? Absolutely, it is. First Group 1, and in fact, I ran third today, too, so it's a fantastic feat. You know, when I came to the course today, win, lose, or draw. For me to have two runners in a grade one in my colours is fantastic, and, and while I'm here, Joe, thanks very much. A great effort, third. Also, he's done, he's done well with that horse as well. well Savour the moment. Hearty congratulations, Sean. Please, thank you very much. And thank to Mark and, and, and the team, really. Without their good care, you know, uh, I don't know where this horse would have gone, but he's, he's in himself. And like I've just spoken to Bonge now, he says he's happy. You know, the horse is very happy. That's the most important part of any racehorse. If the horse is happy, you've got a racehorse. You said it all. Enjoy. Thank you very much, Dees. Winning Trey owner, Sean Phillips. So we are going to break and we'll be back shortly for the winning presentation of the grade one Ilan Property Group Gold Cup. Welcome back uh, for the presentation of the Grade 1 Ilan Property Group Gold Cup and uh, joining us in the winner's enclosure, Mr. Robert Movis, Chairman of Gold Circle and alongside him, Mr. Mark Taylor, CEO of the Ilan Property Group. But first up, we're going to have a few words from the Chairman, Mr. Robert Movis. Thanks, Diz. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the directors and management, we formally welcome you all here today to Super Saturday, where we have just witnessed the running of a Grade 1 Elan Property Group Gold Cup. And what a race it was. The spectacular feast of high-quality thoroughbred racing closes with today's events. And we extend a word of thanks to the Elan Property Group, today represented by Mark Teller. We thank them for their sponsorship and contribution to the day's program and activities. The sport of horse racing will not be where it is today without the foresight, talent, and dedication of the breeders, owners, trainers, jockeys, and grooms who have produced, bought, trained, ridden some of the finest thoroughbreds 
and nurtured the equine athletes we take so much for granted. To this group of stakeholders, we extend our appreciation for their contribution to the industry. Quasi Natal is blessed each year to have so many racing stables visiting our shores. Thank you for your contribution to the Gold Circle Champion season success. To our resident Quasi Natal trainers, we extend our gratitude for, for your continued support and congratulations for meeting the challenge from the visiting stables. It will be appropriate at this time to thank the Gold Circle management and staff for their dedication and passion to ensure that champion season was the greatest ever. Their combined effort was outstanding. In particular, I would like to commend the following personnel. Tembiso Dlamini for preparing Scottsville race course in the manner that he has. Ralph Smart, who went the extra mile in delivering one of the best racing surfaces at Gaville, not seen for a long time. Last but not least, our thanks to Tony Rivalon for delivering training facilities at Somerveld under very difficult circumstances in helping to create one of the best training centers in the world. This race today is also the occasion when Gold Circle expresses its gratitude and pays tribute to the many charity and service organizations that tirelessly embrace and minister to the less fortunate in our community. We extend our thanks to this organization, together with their supporters, for their endeavors and hope that their fundraising activities today are both enjoyable and successful. To all our racing fans, loyal sponsors and the media, we offer our sincerest thanks for you, for your continued support and enthusiastic support for this wonderful sport. It is a fitting tribute to the thoroughbred horses that grace our tracks. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce Mark Taylor from the LN Property Group to say a few words. Mark, thank you. Um, good afternoon, everybody. And um, first of all, I'd just like to congratulate uh, the associates of Wild One. What a fantastic race. I mean, we're pretty new to racing, but it's, it's a really exciting race to watch over 3,200 meters. Uh, even for us novices, it was a great, uh, a great race, and congratulations. Um, second of all, I'd like to thank uh, Gold Circle for this fantastic opportunity to sponsor the Gold Cup, and we really look forward to a long association with with Robert and Michelle and his team. For us, it's a wonderful opportunity to uh, highlight our brand and some of the projects that we're busy with. Um, and also to them for taking a brave decision to postpone the race, because I think that couldn't have been easy postponing from last week. But uh, thank God we didn't have it last week, that's, that's for sure. What a wonderful day it's turned out to be. Um, then lastly, um, maybe some of you might know that the winner of uh, or we, have a, we had a competition on the go with independent newspapers um, where we had six finalists in a competition that each drew a horse in the Gold Cup and the winner of that race who's sitting in the, in the um, room at the top um, at, in the classic room is Mr. Praga Nena so he won a 700,000 rand site at uh, Blythdale Coastal Resort because he chose Wild One so congratulations to him and uh, good luck with your site at uh, Blythdale in the future. Uh, once again, thanks to Robert and, and Gold Circle for this opportunity, and we look forward to a, a long association. Thank you. Thank you to the chairman, Mr. Robert Movis, and the CEO of Ilan Property Group, Mr. Mark Taylor. Now for the winning presentation, and first to receive his uh, memento, the winning jockey, Anthony Delpesh. Well done to jockey Anthony Delpes uh, winning this race for the first time in his career. Now, a gentleman that's been here on a new number of occasions and has won it in 2015 is trainer Mike DeCock. And having his first grade one win as an owner, it's Mr. Sean Phillips.
And then the gentleman that takes care of the son of Macaw, uh, number seven, wild one, and he's uh, done an outstanding job of preparing this horse for today, is Imbuyusile Indanketo. Well done to Imbusile. You've done an outstanding job. Well done to the groom. And that uh, concludes the presentation for the 2015 Ilan Property Group uh, Gold Cup and uh, the winner, number seven, Wild One.